All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm just getting off work. Just got here about two minutes ago. We're just waiting on Jeff. He's going to be coming over. Uh, he should be on his way. He got a smoking deal on an ETS cold air intake for his uh, 2016 WRX. He'll be here in just a minute, and then we're just going to take you along the process of us installing the ETS intake. Brand new carpet, man. Yeah. Brand new floor mats. Never even used them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, either I just put them away. Stick it on there already. Oh, that's yeah. good. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. There should be another pipe. Yep. Oh, it's in there. Okay, cool. Cord and all the hardware and everything. All right, cool. Yeah, you got the cord. It's all in there. All right, good to go. Yeah, we got this. And there's a spare. There's the right here. Cool. All right. Oh, the one that you bought an extra one? Yeah. That's right. Cool, man, let's do this. All right. Hey, the filter looks still clean, man. Yeah, I think you said it only has like 500 miles or 1,000 miles on it. Yeah, dude, look at that. Should man, you good? scored, man. I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, $400 intake for a couple hundred bucks? Yep. Yeah, why not? All right, Jeff was saying that he scored a deal on uh, some TGV deletes, which um, I honestly think they're a rip off for a hundred bucks. Yeah when they cost about five bucks to make. But that's just my opinion. Yep. <laughs> so you're probably gonna, you know, say some shit in the comments about us. <laughs> oh well, that's man. Cool. All right, whatever. Yep. All right, so I'm just gonna lift the car up. I'm gonna take this intake out. Should be done in a few minutes. All right, so primary pipe is in. Just putting our bolts in there. You got a lot of shit in your air filter. <laughs> you got like, you got like two miles in your car, and look at all this. It's <laughs> <laughs> the harness extension. Stock math. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you you, you got to use the um, screws it comes with, I think, and put those back in there. Yeah, just in case I ever do want to go back yeah. to stock. Yeah. So we had to do a little modification of the bracket because the bracket wasn't fitting. So these little two uh, bolts work now. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Dremel saves the day. Hand yeah, that. Looks like it's about below that level now. Clears the top there. Okay. Should we wrap this differently or wrap it down this way? Yeah, just do the back. There you go. Oh, should I unclip that and route it behind the other cable there? No, yeah, you, you can just zip tie it down here to this other wire loom. You'll be oh, okay. Fine. Yeah, that's all I did. Installed. There you go. All right, so we got the ETS intake installed. We're just gonna go out on a little test run, make sure everything is good to go. Um, but yeah, nice little acceleration from like to 20 miles an hour. Yeah. You know, I'll do the, I'll pull up on the freeway and do another uh, another long run. We did it last. 
last time. Yeah. We can do a log just in case, you know. Yeah, and then I'll compare it on the virtual dyno to the last one. Oh, yeah. See if it says there's any difference. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> 